Hey everybody, this is Nuke, the Widow's Son, and I'm back with another uh, do-it-yourself video here. This time, what we're doing is we're going to install communicators into a half helmet. There are a couple of videos online how to do this. I don't think they're detailed enough. Um, I really don't like them. Um, I was able to get enough information from them to do them myself, but I wanted to do a little more user-friendly video and kind of walk you through it, show you the pieces that I use, what I ordered, uh, because it's it's a little um, vague as to what they tell you to use. I want to show you what we use and how it was very successful install. So this is the finished product. Uh, specifically, we have Bell Pit Boss helmets, which are great half helmets. Um, I like that they are adjustable in the back. They have an adjustment here. Um, it helps to uh, fit your head a little bit better. Um, specifically, if you don't have a tall windshield or if you don't have a windshield at all, what this adjustment does, it fits more like a hard hat and it puts a little more support in the back so it prevents the helmet from rising and coming, uh, lifting and coming off your head. So I really like that a lot. It also kind of uh, tailors the fit to your head. So uh, the other feature I like about it is that it has a pull down visor. Uh, the pull down visor I find even when I'm wearing sunglasses um, often I'm a 12 hour shift worker that's um, seven, uh, seven o'clock to seven o'clock. Uh, if I'm working a night shift a lot of times what will happen especially in the summertime when I'm getting off at seven o'clock in the morning uh, the sun is just coming up over the horizon even with sunglasses on it's just at an eye level to where it's uncomfortable to, to see and uh, having the extra um, tinted visor is actually really really helpful so I really like that a lot too. Anyway, um, so this is what the finished product looks like. Um, what we did is, is I installed, we have a, a, the Senna 30K system. Uh, this install should work for any of the Senna systems. In fact, it should work for any of the communication systems. Um, th but this particular video will be the Senna 30K. Uh, as you can see, the um, microphone, when it's not in use, tucks up very nicely under the visor. Um, the uh, bracket for holding the communicator uh, it's very uh, unnoticeable when it's not on the helmet and the speaker pods are installed. I found that they're uh, they're not really uh, very invasive and I like the way that they're in there. I don't know how warm they're going to be. I haven't actually had a test drive yet so we'll see how they are. But this is what it's going to look like when we're finished. So I'm going to set this aside here and we're going to start with a fresh helmet. Uh, that was my helmet. This is my wife's helmet. She has the same um, Bell Pit Boss so we're going to get started. Uh, once again, these are the Senna 30K. Uh, we have the dual system, which comes with uh, two. Saves you a little bit of money if you are going to get two of them. So uh, I recommend getting the, the dual. I actually wound up getting these used off of Facebook. I got an incredible deal on them. The guy used them for like two or three uh, times. Sold his bike, and these were just sitting around in the house. So I was able to get them from, from him from a good price. Also, um, these are what you're going to need to have to install the, the speaker pods. They are the uh, Vega uh, speaker ready ear pads. Um, they're available on Amazon. Uh, I paid, I believe, $13 a pair for these. So the total for two of these was right around $27 with tax and shipping and everything. Well, shipping was free for Amazon Prime. The only other things that you're going to need to install this is really easy install is the Allen key that comes with the 30K system. And you're going to need a toothpick. You can, or I'm sorry, a, a popsicle stick. This could be, you can use the small ones like this. Uh, you can use the big ones. Uh, they, they, they sell big ones in craft kits. This is just the one we had laying around, so this is the one we're going to use. All right. So uh, when, you, when you buy the 30K dual system, um, it's really nice. I really like this system so far. It's going to come in this box. I've already installed one of these. That's why they're missing. Um, this is the this is the this is the Senna um, communicator system. This is what it actually is. One of the things I like about this um, this is the latest uh, version from Senna. Uh, the 30K has what's called the mesh network, and uh, it's a helmet to helmet communication. Uh, it's not anything related to Bluetooth to the bike or anything like that. This is actually helmet to helmet, which is where 30K uses the mesh, and uh, it's got an additional. Um, it's got an additional antenna for the mesh system. This is just for the mesh system. You don't have to have this out unless you're using the mesh. But what the mesh does is it allows the helmets to talk to one another. So if you have a rider in the front 
and uh, their the riders are staggered out and you have a rider in the rear that would normally be out of range when talking directly to the rider in the front, the helmets will actually relay the message, uh, the communications between the riders in the middle of the mesh network and connect to the one in the back just as quickly as if it was in the front. So that's one of the things that's great about the new mesh system. Um, you can see that it's small, it's lightweight, uh, fully rechargeable. Um, as, as I understand it, the battery life is very long. And uh, so anyway, that's, that's about the 30K. So moving on to installing, um, you will have to install the, um, you will have to install the, uh, micro, the boom microphone for this. And um, there's instructions for how to do that. And it's also available online. And then you'll have to, um, uh, and you have to pull this plate off in order to do that. So anyway, I've already done that, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the install. So the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna have to uh, loosen up the Allen heads for the clamshell. So we're gonna loosen them up, but you don't want to take them all the way out. You wanna loosen them up about three to four turns each. That should give you enough room. Okay, and you can see we've got plenty of room to install this. So now that we've, we've uh, gone ahead and we've loosened this up about four turns, uh, what you want to do is there's actually a really nice, it's actually really nice when you put this on the, the pit boss because, and, sorry, you're going to want to put this on the left hand side. The pit boss has a contour here that this fits very nicely in. All right, so we're going to go in here. Okay, and remember, this is going to go on the outside, not the inside. Okay, and you're going to have to you're going to have to really get it in there, so it takes a it takes a bit of dexterity and a little bit of wiggling and and moving, but this will go in. Okay, and you want to get it all the way in. Okay, and you'll see on the side that it sits flush with the side of the helmet. Okay. Once it's in, you gotta just kind of maneuver it a little bit so it's a little bit so it's kind of flat. It sits right in this. It sits right in this groove here. Now, what we'll do is we'll take the take the Allen wrench and we'll go ahead and tighten this clamshell down. Okay, you don't really have to crank down on these because there's uh, there's rubber pads on the inside that grip the helmet and also grip the inside. So you can see this is nice and sturdy. So you really don't have to worry about uh, torquing them down too much. So if you see, um, after you have this in, uh, before you actually continue from this point, in fact, you probably should have done this before you tightened it down, I, I probably should have said, but uh, what you want to do is you want to put the helmet on and go ahead and test where the microphone lands. This is a little small for me, but you want to test where the microphone lands. It should be obviously somewhere uh, near your mouth. It doesn't have to be directly in front of your mouth. Uh, because you, it'll catch your uh, your voice from the side, but it should be somewhere near your mouth, and you can actually see that this is a really good position for this particular helmet. All right. Again, once this is installed, it's really nice. You can tuck this into the visor, and it almost disappears. Okay. The next part is to we're going to take our our helmet pads, and there is a left and a right. Although they're not labeled, uh, you can actually tell which is left and which is right by the way that it's contoured. So, if you actually take a look at the V-strap for the ears, there's a longer edge and a shorter edge. And you'll also notice that on the ear pads, there is a longer edge and a shorter edge. And you'll have to get the right one. Okay, and you'll notice that as that goes in, you'll see it matches up the shorter edge and the longer edge. Okay? Now, what I found putting the other one in is it's about six of one half dozen of the other, but I found it a little bit easier to actually install the speakers into the ear pads before I put the ear pads into the helmet. So that's what we're going to do with this one. So you'll have to, there are magnets in here, so don't, if they're, they're not stuck together, but there are magnets in there. So if you have to separate them, go ahead and separate them. And remember that this is this has got a little bit of a textured side, and it actually works out pretty good because it sticks to the, it adheres to the the um, fuzz that's on the inside. But this is the actual speaker side, the side with the ring, and that needs to go out towards your ear. Okay, and that'll be this part right here. So we'll open it up. 
what I did is you don't want to have you don't want to have the wire coming directly out the top. I wanted to have the the wire coming out the side. And actually, I'm starting on the wrong ones. Sorry about that. We're on the short side, so we want. No, I was on the right one. Yeah. Okay, so you want it coming out the side, coming kind of coming out the side. So when you put it in, what I did, it really sticks to it. So what I did is I open this up. I put the speaker side against the top so that you could make sure that the speaker was kind of centered over the holes. And then I pressed it down so that it stuck to the, you can see now that it's stuck to the felt on the bottom. So this way I can take the wires, the ex excess wires and fold them in. But I'm gonna do that afterwards because what I wanna do now is I wanna actually install this into the helmet. So what you have to do, and I hope there's not too many shadows here, what you actually have to do is it's going to go, and I'll show you on this side, it might be easier to see on this side, same on the other side. It's actually going to go right here in between the shell of the helmet and the interior of the helmet. And it's a little bit tricky to wiggle in, but once you get it started, it will go in. So we're going to do that now. Just got to find the sweet spot and get it pushed in. And once it goes in, you can get the whole thing in. It's a plastic backing, so you can put a little bit of pressure on it. Make sure that zipper is kind of out of the way. And then really get it down in there. And you can see how it's in between the interior of the helmet and the shell. Okay, and we'll just make sure it's nice and seated in there. And it's good and in there. And you can actually see when you push the ear pad or you push the V pad up, it sits really nicely in there and it's actually pretty much the right contour for this helmet. Even though these were made for Vega helmets, it actually works really good in the Pit Boss helmet. Okay, so once you have that installed, there is a little bit of flexibility because it is a plastic backing. Okay, so we're going to open this ear pad, ear pod back up. I'm going to take this extra wire here, take that little bit of extra wire, and just kind of fold it up in here so that it's out of the way, tucked up out of the way. There we go. And then Velcro this back down. Okay, and that side's done. You can see that there's there's not really that much excess wire to catch on anything, and you can still use your pad. So what we'll do is. Before you tuck anything else in, uh, as far as the wire goes, we're going to install the other side. Same way we did this one. Okay, We're going to put the speaker against the front part to center it. Push it down so that it adheres to the, so that it adheres to the Velcro backing. I'm sorry, the felt backing. Okay, And then we're going to install it. Once again, Install it so that it goes between the shell and the interior of the helmet. And just keep working it down in there, it will go. And once you get it started, get it as absolutely far down as it'll go. Okay, and you'll see that it, it actually actually sits kind of flushly. It sits kind of nice. Your speaker's in place and you've got the wire coming out the back. And you see again, the contour contours very nicely with the V strap, so it works really good. So now we've got all this extra wire here. That's not a problem, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our popsicle stick now. And very carefully, you'll see, and some people what they like to do, and I've done this before and it actually works pretty good, is to go ahead and slide your popsicle stick around and go ahead and just gently separate the interior of the helmet from the shell. Now mine was a little tighter, uh, but what that'll do is that'll give that'll give you room to put your wire in. So we're going to go ahead and put our wire in. We'll start here and always listen. This is very important. I can't really stress this enough. Don't use anything metal like a screwdriver because you don't want to damage this. Um, you don't want to damage the wires at all. Okay. So we're going to very very gently coerce this wire into the shell of the helmet. 
Okay, and now it's all the way in. So you can see that this wire now is inside the interior of the helmet, out of the way, and you're good to go. So now we have the extra wire, and you can do two things here. Some people, what they'll do is they'll go ahead, and actually what I might do with this one, because it's, it's not as tight as my, old, my other one, is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna feed this back in, and I'm gonna take the excess wire into the helmet. I really prefer to do this if I can, and this was very fortunate that I can with this one. Okay, I'm just gonna get it in there. Very gently coerce it into the helmet. Perfect. And we're in. That is so much easier um, than what you would also what you would have to do otherwise is you would have to coil all that wire up and figure out how to get it into the pad um, to get it installed. So we're just about done. In fact, we are fairly we are pretty much done. Um, the um, the only thing else now is to really test the fit. Uh, once you uh, get this, you uh, can just Get it on here and you can see when you uh, put your helmet on again this one's a, this one's not mine this is this is my lovely wife and riding partner uh, mine has a clit this one's a little this she uses the d-ring still but anyway once you get it on um, it's it's comfortable it really is comfortable um, they it does touch your ears but it doesn't squish your ears uh, like I said we haven't really tried this yet to see how the audio quality is but with with the speakers just about directly in front of your ears. I imagine this is going to be a lot better than uh, even some of the systems that go inside the helmet because um, when I was riding my Goldwing, um, I had a J&M system uh, put into my Gold to to my Arai helmet, and the speakers were actually away from my ears into the pockets into the ear pockets of the helmet, and it was probably a half inch away or so, and they still sounded fine. So this being right directly against your ears, I think it's going to be okay. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. It's actually great. Uh, the center system just slides on here and it snaps in. So really this is all, this is all you have when, when it's installed. Um, the, the, it's very unobtrusive. It's not heavy at all. It doesn't affect the weight of the helmet. Um, it's not going to affect the aerodynamics of the helmet. So you don't have to worry about drag or pulling on that side of the helmet. Um, and as you can see, it's um, when you're in, you know, when you're ready for communications, there's, there's really nothing, it's really not bad um, as far as having a communication system on your helmet. And uh, when you're done, you're riding and you're not going to use the communication, uh, this comes right off and um, you're back to a, a, a relatively, um, you wouldn't even really know that it's on there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful to you. Again, uh, I'm trying to make more videos, um, stuff that I don't find on the internet already. I, I don't want to make videos of things that are already saturated on the internet. So like I said, I could not find a lot of really good videos specific to the Pit Boss since it's such a popular helmet. Um, and I wanted to show that the Vega ear pods really worked well with the Pit Boss helmet. And, I, and uh, so for people that are not sure whether these are, are, are the right ones or not, um, I think these are the right ones. I don't know how warm they're going to be. It, it is very soft. It's a soft um, interface that goes in, goes on your ears. It's not uncomfortable at all. Uh, however, I don't know if it's going to make it warm. Again, it, it, it's you wear half helmets because it's summertime and you want more airflow around your head. So I don't know how this is going to affect it, but I don't think it's going to be so bad. So I'm actually really happy with it. Uh, anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, put them in the comment section uh, below this video, and I'll try to answer any questions that come up. And I'll see you next time.